was your day like? Good. Nice day. Uh, we're in Gujarat. And now we are ending it in Karnataka. We just had a big rally. And uh, very responsive crowd. They were especially responsive when we were talking about the Chokidar and about uh, Raphael. That excites people. And then the joblessness in the country, that's quite a big issue. And the farmers. I mean, the election is basically about joblessness, farmers, and Mr. Narendra Modi's personal corruption with Anil Ambani. Uh, and then a little bit about our vision. The Nyai Yojana is going very well. 72,000 rupees per person. 25 crore people. Right in the women's, women's bank account. Very empowering, powerful thing. Will jumpstart the economy. Actually, there's a massive crisis. Let me close this window. Actually, there's a massive crisis in the economy because of demonetization, because of Mr. Narendra Modi's concentration of power in the PMO. And so money has been sucked out of the system. People don't have capacity to buy stuff. So Nyaya Yojana is going to fire that up. And then we've got a couple of ideas for youngsters uh, on the job front, support to small and medium industry that we're going to be quite aggressive on. Uh, and then some ideas for farmers. Yeah. Do you wanna? Do you wanna speak to my PC, my dear friend Dinesh as well? Here, why don't you also put in your tools? Yeah, so we had a... Great... Well, first of all, he's putting on weight. <laughs> because I've been feeding yeah, him yeah. chips. I've been feeding him chips non-stop. So he's putting on weight. Thanks to all the junk food that I'm eating <laughs> with our Congress president. So as it is, my situation is bad. It's getting worse. But yeah, today's been a great day, I think. Both the rallies were wonderful. One in Raichur and Chikodi. And uh, huge crowds. And the response, I think, uh, which we got when we were speaking about uh, the failure of uh, Narendra Modi and his... Uh, his uh, performance and what uh, uh, what vision that we have for the country, what uh, Rahul Ji's vision is there for the country. I think all those issues are getting great response and I think people have realized, the, at the ground level I think people have realized that our Pradhan Mantri is a Prachar Mantri and he's not a uh, doer and uh, I think that that dream of Achyadin is shattered and that is, I think is going to be the key thing for the election. So, I mean, the crowd's response was tremendous and I think we've picked up a lot of energy. Uh, from uh, this visit of Rahulji in uh, Karnataka today. You know, I also feel, I don't know what you feel about this. Uh, I feel he, he doesn't listen and he actually doesn't grasp the issues properly. This is my, this is my experience in, in dealing with the Prime Minister. I don't know, I don't know what your view is on that. Yeah, no. I think he's just so closed, uh, closed uh, minded and mm -hmm. since he's got a very few people who can approach him, yeah. I think he doesn't get the pulse of what's happening on the ground. And people are so scared of him yeah. to tell him what the reality is. When there's farmers' distress and when there were so many issues of joblessness, I think uh, he doesn't understand what's happening on ground. And that, I think, is getting re reflected in his wrong policies. You know, you were telling me uh, when Sidramaya Ji was chief minister here that he'd regularly meet the press and go for these press conferences. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the then, press was... And you do it. I mean, yeah, you, you do that quite often. We meet the press almost on a daily event, Rauji, and uh, official press conferences were done at least once a week. But he, I don't know why, but he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the confidence to come in front of the press. I think that is, uh, yeah, that's the biggest mystery that why he can't take yeah. questions because someone who can talk so much yeah, should be able to, should be able to reply. <laughs> 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 I don't that's know. Good. I mean, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, they used to call him uh, Mauni uh, Singh or whatever, but I mean, he used to take the press conference. Yeah. Every year he did a press yeah. conference. Yeah, yeah. And though I think uh, Narendra Modi has done a few press conferences, not in India. No, I think no, Sanna yeah, Abroad yeah. is done. Yeah. Yeah. But those are also scripted. No? I mean, even the interviews you see, I mean, they're, they're scripted. It's like, it's like planned and stuff. There's no open. Yeah. There's no open. There's no, there's no open. And even in Parliament, as, as far as I've seen, I've not seen him taking questions in Parliament or replying on, the, on any specific subject. Uh, he's never done that. I think the other thing, the other difference I find between the Congress and, and Mr. Narendra Modi's system, and this wasn't the case so much with Mr. Vajpayee's system, but he doesn't, he doesn't actually take advantage of the talent that is there. You know, like when we are working, we are, we are trying to push 
our talent trying to ask questions to our people i don't think he has that sense he just he just decides on something and then he he acts on it yeah. without without much information i think so i think so because uh, otherwise how will anyone ever decide to demonetize the currency i think if i listen to people five people at least they all say don't do it so i think kids who i mean if you idea, ask kids still not if you ask kids you know you ask a 12 year old kid listen what do you think uh, he'd say i don't think that's a good yeah. idea and even gst the yeah. concept of gst was one nation one tax which he also spoke about and where was the where was the one tax so five five percent percent 18 percent is crazy and people especially was around these small well, traders in my constituency small people they didn't know what the hell they were doing they don't know where the credit is going to come from how to maintain these Cash accounts flows. they had to you know get auditors it was so confusing complicated so almost like a financial yeah. nuclear weapon yeah, just yeah. firing it without you know yeah, without any both those things have really killed india's economy and that's what i think we are suffering right now you know what i found quite amazing was manmohan singh ji stands up in rajya sabha yeah and shows you his economic understanding and just off the cuff says 2% gdp is going to be yeah. Yeah. damaged yeah and Carol's Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, okay. And that's why one of the things that we did was we went and tested the Nyay Yojana. Yeah. On okay. our with our with our. So we discussed it with a lot of people. We discussed it with all the. Pro- I mean, we discussed it with the best economists in the world. Okay. Uh, including, of course, our uh, economists in the Congress Party. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, is that is that good? Thank you.